fish tank, watch latest design, determined for no more fish to die. And when you love your pets, you will sit up with them and get them through the night. So I've been sitting here now, it's around 10 to 3 in the morning, and I am very tired. I've had a little sleep, but I'm really tired. But um, the fish, I'm all pleased to say, I think are pulling through. I think I've overcome the tragedy. I lost three poor fishes, that means so much to me. All animals do. So I'm gonna put it on fish tank watch latest and I do believe I'm ready to go to bed now. I'm gonna leave the, leave the fish with you for 10 minutes and you can see for yourselves that I do believe they're going to be okay. But I wish you all well. I hope we can all stay isolated, stay home and save lives. And that's what we can all do. Shine on everybody. This is the fish tank latest. I should give up all things appertaining to team money and the executive of the law and immediately appointed me general money. I think he got tired. I mean, he'd achieved it. He's still a great man, but uh, it was time for someone else to come in. To follow Mark Busby, God almighty. God almighty. We've been so used to the one man at Manchester United, a great, great manager. You know, how do you replace him? And, and they tried. Will you repair all of the systems to some that? Well, I think that's why he's... Uh... Is relinquished to the, uh, the team duty to, to let somebody else have those decisions, make those decisions. All given. I was 22, and I wasn't going to my kids when I was seven, eight years. After losing so much, the team started to disintegrate very, very quickly. From going out week in, week out, not ever thinking we were going to lose again. We were starting to go out thinking we were going to lose or knowing we were going to lose to a certain side. This was a disaster. I started to have a lot of doubts about what was going on within the club, which hurt me, you know, because Manchester United have been my whole life. The team weren't playing particularly well. In fact, I think, you know, we did go on a bit of a downward spiral, so that must have been really heartbreaking for him. He wasn't big-headed, but he wasn't falsely modest either. He knew his, his work as a footballer. He felt that they should have been building a younger team around him. What's it going to mean when I have a top goal scorer this season? Of course, I'm making 19 from the league and 13 from the league. George was starting to get strange things into his head, doing certain things that he basically had never done before and continued to go through a spell after that, which was really the start of the downfall. Today I think they're going to be sent off really in a way, you know. 
George was starting to make his own rules up a little bit as it went along. George Best is the Mercury of Manchester United. Banned a month, a long time for a footballer. There was a constant expectations of the fans that have got to see George Best play fantastic every week. That's a difficult burden to carry. I think we all just depended on him and expected him to do it week in and week out. Once the football was, the, the enjoyment of that was taken away, I started looking for things to replace the excitement I got from football. <laughs> the start of the club season and a bit of a pop idol. His fondness for drink was bound to become more than just a leisure activity. I always thought the only time he took a drink was to boast of his confidence. He was so shy, and for George found it difficult to talk to people, but a drink made him confident. He was a sick days. People were drinking, you know, he was drinking, I was drinking. And it just gradually became a problem. You want more and more and more. There's no satisfaction. Why do you want more? Because you're not satisfied. Why are you not satisfied? Because you're seeking happiness and things that can't give you happiness. You know, like alcohol or, or sex or whatever those things is. When you become addicted, there's no, there's no happiness there. Started missing family. That was, that was a, a, a nightmare, a disaster, all the things you want to call it. George had a few pals in Manchester and a couple of pals that were United fans that should have known a bit better. And maybe give him a kick up the back saying, so you should be in training, it's important for Manchester United, it's important for you. I'm saying blame his pals, but then you can only point your finger at one person at the end and that's George. And it was downhill on a toboggan after that, it wasn't, it was a slow downhill, it was... my own worst enemy. Sometimes I go a bit beyond my limits because at the moment training and football it's not a strain to me. You know, I enjoy training and I can train pretty easily but I think maybe three, four years I'm, I, you can't bring a candle both ends <laughs> which I admit I have done in the past but I think I'm beginning to settle down a bit. At the beginning when I was with him, he would go to training, but then gradually he started to miss training. And I mean, sometimes I'd get Matt Busby on the phone ringing up saying, is George with you and he's not turned up? And isn't it time you two got married? And all this kind of thing, you know, so what do you want me to do, isn't it? Do you see um, any kind of permanent relationship here, Jackie? Um, would you like to marry him? I don't know. I haven't told him, but I don't think I should tell him. Do you If, if, if Jackie wasn't there, it was, he, unfortunately, he wasn't the most faithful animal in the world. And, of course, very difficult to keep up a relationship where, from her part, the trust wasn't there. And she knew the temptations that were there for him. I had a tremendous amount of relationships because I was, I was in a position to. I was getting a lot of publicity, I had plenty of money. And I went to the sort of functions where there were always plenty of beautiful women around. He'd gone from being quite a fresh and sweet boy to starting to become quite jaded and I think, you know, because of the alcohol and girls throwing themselves at him. If you imagine you're in a sweet shop and you're eating sweets all the time, you're going to get sick. It's fun at first, but then you get sick. And it, I think it became like that with everything. He was very fond of Jackie and I think it's a pity that relationship never continued. Once your trust has been betrayed, you can't really get that back. I can't see any future in this. There was far more focus on him than any other player in the country. Once you get that cross fertilization between football and showbiz, then you're going to heighten interest in everything you're up to. This is the moment that you decided that you wanted to marry Eva. 
almost a little bit of a signified death, you are. <laughs> Follow what you're in the country now. Uh, I don't know. Well, only it looks like you have everything. Money's coming in, you're doing something you love. The whole thing just became a total nightmare. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my fish watch. And as you can clearly see, I think they're going to make it through the night. They're all swimming around. They all seem pretty happy. I'm going to leave the light on for them tonight because they've had such a shock today. I wish you all well, sweet dreams, and shine on everybody. Because remember, I love my fish. They are my wish. They're not on the dish. They are my bliss. I love my fish. Shine on everybody. <laughs>